as we've already seen from, from output and from the demo, even if we then get to a point where we select a specific technology or organization to work with, we then normally have a whole array of tests available to us. And then within each of those tests, we also have a whole multitude of metrics to select from. So it can be quite overwhelming the amount of data that is available to us as practitioners. Of course, what we want to do with any of this implementation is maximize the value of the data that we're collecting. And some of the ways that I think we can do this is initially recognizing the demands of your sport, not necessarily just transplanting what has been done elsewhere or what you've seen on social media or in, in other environments, but understand the critical determinants of your sport and therefore how data and information can support that. I think with that, we can summarize that with starting with the end in mind. So what decisions is this information going to support? And linked to that is if the key stakeholders that you're going to be passing information along to, to make decisions on, then involving them in the process of trialing and integrating this information can be a really good way of, of trying to maximize the value. Of course, understanding the precision of any technology is a cornerstone of sports science. And then, as I mentioned, I think it's important now, given the amount of data that we have available, to really have a, a formalized management strategy for your technology and data processes. And that's something I'm helping uh, teams and organizations put together. But of course, it's not just about maximizing the value. And this is a topic I recently spoke about on my blog. I think there are two important dimensions here, not just the value, but the burden that any technology places on both the staff and the athletes, as we'll get into with Adam. Ideally, we are striving for data and technology that provides high value with low burden. We may also want to uh, utilize to some degree high value and high burden items, but clearly we are avoiding those low value items. Now, the, the, um, the value and the burden that a particular data collection process has is not innate, it's not fixed. It depends on how you implement it. So as an example, considering a wellness questionnaire, one option we have available is the RESQ uh, Sport Wellness Questionnaire, which has been used in the literature, which has 76 items for the athlete to answer. Compare that with, for this example of this five item questionnaire, clearly we've reduced the burden on the athlete by utilizing this approach. Although what we have to then be careful of is not reducing the precision too much, not compromising on the precision too much in order to improve the burden. So as I mentioned, considering the burden on your staff of any process that you're going to implement is important. So I think first and foremost, before you consider integrating any new processes, you have to reflect on whether you can derive greater value from the data and the processes that you already use. If you then decide that you do want to add, whether it's an additional test or a new piece of technology, have to be really honest with reviewing whether the team and the staff have the time to collect the data. But also, do the staff have the skill set to be able to analyze and interpret the data from any test? And then, are communication structures in place to be able to action that information? And again, that is where bringing the key stakeholders into the conversation early on can be a benefit. But of course, the burden that we have to consider is not just about our staff. 
but also critically considering the burden we're placing on our athletes. This is a very realistic snapshot of what a day could look like for an athlete. These are all tests that are frequently done and may be done every day. And what's more, this is just perhaps from the sports science perspective. When we think about the demands on the athlete from their coaches, um, from a medical or recovery perspective, um, as well as then perhaps media, um, uh, communications, PR, any charity work as well, as well as some of their individual pursuits, um, there can be a lot of demands placed on the athlete external to just the field of play.